everybody and welcome to the fifth tutorial in a series of MySQL DBA video tutorials. In this tutorial uh, we will learn about uh, uh, an important configuration parameter called max connections and we will also look at a couple of other variables. Now you have you might have heard about uh, system variables or MySQL global variables. Uh, what are they? So actually in our previous video tutorial we learned about the configuration file which is uh, the um, my.cnf file and we were able to change some of the parameters or configuration inside that file and then restarting the mysql it was taking an effect uh, the global variables are the variables which are the uh, default values set for different behaviors uh, so for example if you want to know how many uh, maximum connections your MySQL server can handle at any point of time then you can use uh, this query called select at the rate at the rate max under underscore connections so that will tell you right now the MySQL server I'm using has a capacity of handling 151 simultaneous connections so what happens if your server reaches to that limit now as soon as your server reaches that limit uh, the servers uh, the, the consecutive connections the connections which are coming afterwards will f will will face timeouts and you will be able to see some sort of error called too many too many connections uh, because many many times some people just forget to change these important uh, values uh, uh, and pr and the servers in production starts experiencing more and more traffic coming towards and they can hit their limit we can we can increase the uh, value for max connections without restarting the mysql server but we need to make sure that we change the or add the particular parameter in my.cnf file so that when we restart the mysql server again it will take the new value in effect to, ch to change the value on the fly without restarting the mysql server we can use uh, this syntax set global max underscore connections for the server example we are we want it to set to 500 500 and now if you check it is set to 500 if i restart my mysql server now the value will fall back to 151 because that's the default value and i haven't configured it anywhere in my mysql server configuration to set it to 500 so let's do that now after changing it to the live instance of your MySQL server, you can now edit the default configuration file and then you have to add that particular parameter or option inside the MySQLD section because this parameter is associated with the server, not with the client, so that it won't go in the client section, it will go into the MySQLD section. Just put it here max underscore connections equals to 500 escape save and now if you restart MySQL I'm just telling you that uh, if you do that it will consider the new value and it's set to 500 not to 151 so this is one important thing everybody must consider this value setting up from the right beginning so that they don't have to face any issues later on uh, also like this uh, system variable globe max connections there are lots of other system variables as well um, and not all of them are quite important for every single server when you set it up some of them are also related to the storage engines, inodb or myism. My we will look at those storage engines in detail in the coming video tutorials. But for example, if you want to see all of your all of your system variables from your prom, then from the MySQL prom, then you can say show variables, a simple command, which will just show all of those variables which are uh, right now set on your system. Um, say for example if you want to filter a specific type of variables uh, like uh, variables associated with log files so you can say so variables like and then 
you can put percentage percentage to just identify any characters before and any character after so then it will bring all those variables where somewhere it has a log word in it either in the beginning or in in between somewhere and if you check them you just say that this is this is a variable name and this is the current value for example the general log is off but the file is set because i did enable it earlier uh, you will be able to see the error log file as well binary log files so like <coughs> like like i said these are the important variables and you can change their values on the fly whenever you want from the command prompt mysql command prompt um, and in many in many cases uh, this slow query logs are very very important to debug and diagnose issues with the uh, long running queries and what are those queries to identify them you can enable the uh, the this as well you can also uh, you can also check the other variable uh, called Um, so other uh, variable like versions if you put a version word it will tell you various versions of the storage engine or your version of your mysql server you can also use uh, another variable max max connections or max temp tables how many maximum temp tables are allowed to be created during the mysql server is in operation uh, so like i said there are lots of such vari system variables and we can't go through them each of them in this tutorial but you can you can spot that the max connections which we change it's again coming up here it, it's not it's a specific query which will bring all the variable names starts with max or somewhere it has max word in it if you just want to list the variables which are starting with word max and follow with any other character of strings then you can use this query starting with max you don't need to put percentage in the beginning which says fix fixed characters and ax starts with and percentage is a wild card character here so this way you can uh, list all the variables you can also check the variables if there are any starting with error so this error count or if you want to check more so uh, max connection errors whatsoever so hope there is hope you get some more information about this and See you in the following tutorials with more and more information. Bye for now.